What's up guys, welcome to Rotor Riot and welcome back to Learn to FPV. Today we're gonna to talk about goggles. So goggles can be a really big investment and they're also one of the more important key items that you're gonna need when you're flying. So when trying to decide on a set of goggles, aside from the obvious factor, which is gonna be the cost, a couple of other important things to look into are the aspect ratio. So almost every goggle, I think, I think every goggle is either gonna be four by three or 16 by nine. So if you're not sure what that means, four by three is more square. It's kind of like your old tube style TV and 16 by nine is like your modern, you know, computer monitor. It's more of a rectangle. So I wouldn't say one is better than the other, but some people are just gonna have a preference for having a wider screen. Some people are gonna like the more square screen. The other important thing to think about as far as aspect ratio is you really need to match the aspect ratio of the goggles with the camera that you're using. If you use mismatched aspect ratio, it can distort the image and it's, it's just not gonna look right. So if you go with a 16 by nine goggle, make sure you get a 16 by nine camera. Same thing for four by three. The other main factor to think about is the receiver that's in the goggles. So it's either gonna be something you can remove and replace and upgrade, or it's just gonna be built in and you can't change it. So in most cases, a goggle that is able to take an external module and be able to upgrade it, it's usually going to be a more expensive option, but it's also going to give you better performance. And as new technologies emerge and receivers get better, you won't have to rebuy the goggles. You can just buy a new module and upgrade it. So the last thing to take into account is the field of view. Field of view is essentially how big the screen is going to appear to you. So it's not necessarily always going to be best to just have the biggest field of view. Sometimes a big field of view can be too big. So if, if you notice that you're having to move your eyes around inside the goggle to see everything, that can make it a little difficult to focus on what you're trying to see while you're flying. But it's gonna depend on personal preference and what you like, but it's just definitely something to think about. And really the, the best thing you could possibly do is to try the goggles out because it's gonna really depend on your face, your eyes, your preferences. Not everyone's gonna have the opportunity to go to a hobby shop that has display goggles or go to a race and befriend people and see if you can look through their goggles. But if you do have the opportunity, I highly recommend give them a try and see what works for you in person. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break up the goggles into different price ranges. I'm gonna start at the highest, most best performance goggle you can get and then all the way down to what's the cheapest thing that'll just get you going. So what I use and what most of the top pilots are gonna use and what's generally considered to be the best performance thing you can get is Fat Shark HDOs with a rapid fire receiver. So the HDOs are a decent field of view. It's not super huge, but it's large. So for me and most people, it's gonna fit right in what I want. It's, it's big enough to be impressive and have a nice screen to look at without being so huge that I find myself looking around inside the goggles. And the screens that they use are also OLED displays. So it's a higher technology in displays. It's a little cr more crisp. It's got a little better contrast. The goggles themselves are just really nice. It's pretty much considered a top of the line goggle. And then paired with that is the rapid fire module. So this is also pretty much top of the line, the best performance you're gonna get out of a video receiver. Now, going with the HDO and rapid fire combo is, it's gonna be very expensive. It's $500 for the goggles, it's $150 for the receiver, and then you need to add two antennas onto it, which could be anywhere from 20 to $50 for that. So it's definitely not cheap, but if you want the best, HDO rapid fire, that's probably as good as it's gonna get. So all up in that category, you're pushing $700. It's really expensive. Luckily, the next rung down is quite a bit cheaper. So this is like your $300 range. So for around $300, I have two recommendations. I would either go for the Fat Shark Attitude V5 or the Amway Commanders. The Commanders are, I think, $270. 
But Fat Shark Attitude V5 is 299. Even though the Attitude are a little more expensive, these also come with OLED displays. So it's gonna be generally a little bit better display. The Attitude V5 are a 640 by 400 resolution and they're a 30 degree field of view. Um, they're also four by three. Whereas the Commanders are at 854 by 480 resolution and 32 degrees field of view, which on paper is a little bit higher resolution than the Attitudes, but the Attitudes are also an OLED screen. So I would say they're pretty comparable. The Commanders are also a 16 by nine goggle. So just take that into account. Um, the other thing that makes these two goggles really similar is they both come with receiver built in and they both have diversity built in. So you're going to be able to plug two antennas into them right out of the box. I would say one advantage you're going to have going with the attitudes is you can actually replace this. So you can pop this one out, put a rapid fire in or other upgrade modules. So slight edge to the attitudes for that, but again, for 300 bucks, either the Attitudes or the Commanders are a really good choice. Moving down in price a bit at 200 bucks, you've got the Fat Shark Scout. I don't have a set of those here with me, but we'll give you a picture. So the Scout are a box goggle, very similar to this one, but with a really high resolution and wide field of view display inside of it. So the resolution on the Scout is 1136 by 640, and it has a 50 degree field of view. Um, the Scout also has got diversity receiver built into it. So it only you'll only see one antenna on it, but inside of it is also a directional antenna. It also has DVR, so at 200 bucks, the Scout is a really good deal if you don't mind having a bigger form factor. So moving down in price even more is the Fat Shark Recons. These are the Recon V3. These are gonna come in at 90 bucks, but you can also still get the Recon V2s, which are Almost as good, there's just been some slight upgrades to the V3, and those are only $69. So for an entry level price point, the Fat Shark Recons are definitely my favorite pick. So both are gonna have DVR, both are gonna have a built-in receiver, and both are 16 by nine displays. What I really like about the Recons is for a box goggle, they're really not that big and they're not that uncomfortable to wear. So if you're looking for entry level, that's definitely my favorite one to go for. Now, under that price point, there's not a whole lot of goggles that I can think of that I can really recommend that are less than $70 and going to perform well. So if, if even 70 is too much for you, then I would just basically recommend get whatever you can get and just get flying and you'll, you'll be able to upgrade later on. So these goggles are a set of goggles that come with a bundle kit. So maybe that's an option for you. Maybe you can find a little micro bundle kit where you're gonna get everything and get flying and it'll come with at least something that you can use. I would definitely recommend at least try to get into the recons, but if even that is too much money, go for a bundle kit, use whatever goggles comes with it and you can upgrade later. And then especially if you get one that has a separate screen like this, that can be really useful because sometimes you're working on the bench and you need to test out video issues and you don't wanna actually have to put the goggles on to test things out. You can just have a screen there and check things out and maybe keeping this in your bag and just being able to show people what you're doing that's useful so if you need to get something that's super bare bones cheap that's acceptable it's not going to be the best performance you're not going to have the greatest time but you can still fpv with pretty much any screen another good thing to know about the goggles that you can change the receiver out in is which different receivers are available so i mentioned the rapid fire that's really kind of top of the line right now but at 150 bucks, it's kind of pricey. So some other options that are gonna give you better than a built-in performance, but not quite as good, you can get, there's TrueD, they have a couple different style of modules. So at just a little bit less than a rapid fire, but pretty close to comparable performance, you've got the TrueD X, that's 120 bucks. So you're gonna save $30 if you go with that route. TrueD also has a traditional diversity module that's just gonna do basic switching back and forth. That's around $80. And there's also another one called Achilles that's $69. So you can save another 10 bucks if you go with that route. Okay, so those are my picks for the different price points. Without being able to stick them on your face and see how they work for you, it's, it's really hard for me to give you much more of a suggestion of what's gonna work well for you. So again, if you have the chance, definitely try the goggles out and see how they look. Again, the things to take a look at in goggles are the aspect ratio, 
making sure that if you have a 16 by nine goggle, you get a 16 by nine camera, um, the resolution of the screen and the type of screen, and whether or not they, you can upgrade the receiver module. So with that, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching, and this has been Learn to FPV.